Hi, welcome to 3D Time Traveler. I'm Greg. Today I got a quick tip on taking extreme close-ups with VR at 180 cameras. Uh, take a look at this image, and what we're going to try to do is get images like this. So, normal stereo stuff is taken with a stereo base of 6 centimeters. That's what this camera has. That's what this camera has. I'm shooting with the Evo, and that's what that has. So, we need to mimic something with a smaller stereo base, like a mouse. So, I take the first image, and then I move the camera one centimeter over to the right. So that's getting me my stereo base if I'm only using the left images. So I take the left image from the first one, the left image from the second one, and I combine them, and I get something extremely close up. The Miniature Railroad Club of York, Pennsylvania was kind enough to let me stop by one afternoon and take these photos. I place the camera right on the display so the height of the lenses approximates the height of a person so it gives the impression that you're actually in these scenes. These were done with the Lenovo Mirage so since then I've gotten a better camera with the Evo and hope to sometime maybe get out there and try these again. So how did we get those shots? I'm going to walk you through it step by step now, but first I want to show you what pieces we're going to be using to make it. First up is going to be the camera, and I'm going to be using the Insta360 Evo for these. Also important, because we're going to be making very small camera moves, I'm going to be using a rail instead of trying to do it by hand. So let me set that up and I'll be right back. All right, I'm set up now. As you can see, I've got a green screen. You'll see what I'm going to do with that in the end. I just wanted to kind of eliminate some of the other details. So here I am set up with my stuff. I'm probably like about three or four inches from the front most piece. The focusing on the Evo uh, will stand that. So let's take some shots here and I'll show you what I'm doing. First, let me adjust my green screen a little bit. All right, I'm going to take the first one. And then I'm going to move the camera just a little bit to the right. Not much, probably an eighth of an inch. And then I take the second shot. So I've got those two. Um, I'm going to experiment just a little bit more, see if I can actually get a little bit closer. So. I'm moving this to be about two and a half inches. Everything's going to just scoot up a little bit and we will do a second shot that we can test here after a bit. So let's take my first. Move that again, about an eighth of an inch. Stuff is wiggling here, but it snaps back into place. So here's the second shot. All right, let's put it in the computer and see if it actually works. Here's some other close-up shots that I took uh, using a variety of things indoors and outdoors. I'd love to see what you do if you decide to do some of these too. So enjoy these and start to think about what you could do.
joining me for this episode. I'd love to see what you do if you do something in a similar vein. Uh, subscribe down below so you don't miss out the next episodes, and I'll see you soon.